Prince William can now charge his father rent by virtue of his new position of Duke of Cornwall. The king has been renting Highgrove House since the duchy bought the property in 1980 and spent years developing his vision of a perfectly sustainable royal residence. But as he passed on the title of Duke of Cornwall to William upon his accession to the throne, Charles III is now facing a rather hefty annual bill because of rental fees. Lorraine presenter Christine Lampard said, Prince William is now charging his father rent, so the relationship has to be good. Royal correspondent Roy Nicker added, it's an interesting role reversal. As part of the whole shakeup in the hierarchy and the line of succession, William now takes on his father's role of Duke of Cornwall, and with that comes the Duchy of Cornwall. What is that? It's an enormous sway, the portfolio of land and property and interests, mostly across the southwest of the country. But it includes Highgrove House, which is Charles' private home in Gloucestershire and, as part of that, has an interesting lease arrangement. He has to pay his son £700,000 a year as part of that lease. So far the paying son, interesting role reversal. In addition to receiving the title of Prince of Wales, William added to his stock of titles the style of Duke of Cambridge and Cornwall. Prince William is now in charge of managing the multi-million property which for decades funded his family and Prince Harry's family. Taking on the new role has also made Prince William one of the wealthiest men in Britain, as the Duchy of Cornwall was valued at more than £870 million in March. The area is tax-exempt but King Charles voluntarily paid tax on the estate since the 1990s, with a reported £22 million bill in 2021. Management of the state will add to a list of new roles and duties the Prince of Wales will have to take on over the next few years in preparation for his accession. Oh.